Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to look at how to do QQ plots within SPSS. So let's get started. So here I'm in SPSS and I have a data set. So what I'd like to do is some QQ plots. And there's a couple of ways that you can do this. One way is by simply going to analyze, descriptive statistics, and then selecting QQ plots. And you can see here, you got the variables that you can uh, move over. And, and then you simply run the QQ plot from here. Now, I'm not going to actually run this because I wanna show you a different way that I like to do it. And it gives me a little more than just the QQ plot that I'm looking at. So if I go to descriptive statistics and then I go to explore, Notice here, I've already moved my variables over to the dependent list, but let's pretend that these were here listed in the list of variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these variables over to the dependent list. And by running it in the explore uh, menu, what I can do is I'm gonna click on statistics and it's gonna tell me that it's going ahead and going to give me the uh, descriptive statistics for these variables, which are sometimes valuable when you're uh, running QQ plots. And I'm running a 95% confidence interval for the mean or for the averages of these variables. You can change that to be 90, you can change that to be 99, whatever you'd like. So I'll click continue there, but now I'm gonna click on plots. And here I'm gonna select the button under descriptive statistics, I'm gonna select the histogram. So not only will I get a QQ plot, but I'll also get a histogram to know that so that I can also see if my variable is normally distributed. And then I also gonna, uh, will click this button that says normally plot with tests. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the box plot factor levels together. So I'm gonna get a box plot, I'm gonna get a histogram, and I'm also going to get a normality plot. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. and it's running the information now. So you can see it's running all of my variables and here are my descriptives. Important to see here, the descriptive information here for each of the variables, you have your mean, your median, your variance, standard deviation, all of that good information. And then if I scroll down below, you can have your test of normality that you see here if you need those. But what I like here is that I have the histogram for each of the variables, and I also have the QQ plot for that particular variable attached. So they're side by side, or one, the histogram is on top of the uh, normal um, QQ plot. And I have all of the information that I need here. I also have a box plot, if that's important for your analysis. If you're looking at that, and you can see some of the outliers, you can see the um, different interquartile ranges with your box plot. And again, we move over to distance, which is the next variable. And we have the histogram, the QQ plot, and as well as your box plots. So that is uh, what I wanted to share with you today. I hope this was helpful. Again, how do you get there? You're going to go to analyze, descriptive statistics, and click the explore button. All right, I hope this was helpful for you today. And thanks for watching. See you next time.